With the election less than a week away, both Trump and Clinton are hitting the campaign trail now harder than ever, with each having an eagle eye focus on swing states. Trump held rallies in Florida today and continues in the Sunshine State with another rally tomorrow in an attempt to secure more votes from the swing state. Thank you. I love that sign. Blacks for Trump. I love that sign. Thank you. Clinton, on the other hand, is in the western part of the United States. She held rallies today in Nevada and Arizona. I want to say a few words about the two police officers who were killed in the line of duty in Iowa. While last week's polls showed that Clinton was ahead, this week's polls have narrowed the race because of FBI Director James Comey's decision to investigate a new collection of emails found that could be linked to the ongoing Clinton email investigation. Many major media outlets agree that these swing states are key for deciding which candidate will clinch the White House. Okay. What does Hillary Clinton have to do? What's her path? Well, her path starts with winning Pennsylvania, where she has a lead, but that could be her keystone because she, if she wins that, she doesn't need much else. In fact, she only needs one other state, really, in order to get the 270 that she would need. If he doesn't win, he has to go and get a lot of other states in order to get there. And that's why we can say that she still has an edge. He While the media have their say, I spoke to Ohlone students to get their opinion on who they think will win. I don't know, the way she presents herself is something that I think she has that's like really strong about her. And yeah, I think she's just gonna win. <laughs> well, I think she'll win just because She's just against someone that's too far right, and she's a little bit in the middle, so people can get behind that. And she's fluctuated up and down, but I don't believe she's ever actually been behind in a poll, in an aggregate of polls. And I think that uh, there's, there's little question that she's going to become the president. Even with the polls narrowing, as the famous American baseball player Yogi Berra once said, it ain't over till it's over. So there is only one thing voters can do to determine this election, and that is... Please go and vote. It's part of, like, your right. You should vote. In Newark, on the Ohlone campus, I'm Eileen Street for Ohlone Network News.